Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Our legacy with the Creech family is everyone sleeping peacefully, and I realized when I was- Oh no, don't you dare. I realized when I was a- <clears throat> Oh man, my throat's gonna be killing me this episode. When I was loading up this household that- We have four blonde Sims. Hmm, wonder what color hair any babies are gonna have, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, guess we'll never know. Whatever. <laughs> There's gonna be no genetic diversity this generation, it seems. Whatever. Maybe the aliens will fix that. Maybe. Um, Iris, I'm not really sure. Do we have food in there? Do we have eggs and toast in there? Hmm. Apparently. I didn't even know. We've also got, like, fish tacos there. I don't know where we got fish tacos. <laughs> but apparently we had them also. Whatever. Uh, today was a pretty fun day. I actually got to... This is gonna be funny and topical. Well, not funny at all. Not funny at all. I actually got to um, go to a talk by uh, Peter Ingebrigtsen, who is the... Uh, one, I think one of the lead AI programmers um, for The Sims. Uh, three and four at least, so that was really cool. Um, I got to hear a lot about what makes The Sims 4 tick. And oh boy, it's interesting, man. It's like a lot of uh, constraint-based programming dependent on... Uh, uh, what were the three that he gave us off? Like, uh, uh, location, posture, like whether they're standing or sitting or lying down or whatnot, and, uh, hands, whether they have something in their hands or not. And it was just crazy to figure, to see, like, the graph that he showed for the multitasking system, like, trying to figure out if you can do X or Y while you're also doing A or B, and... Oh, it was just really cool. You want me to mix a synthetic food serum? I don't know if we can do that. Mm-mm. Um, we should collect these real quick. Mainly because we might have parsley or basil and maybe there's food there. I'm not really sure. Can we mix a synthetic food serum? Yeah, we can. Oh yeah, you just need plants. Okay. I thought it was any food. So let's make synthetic food out of roses. Cool. I guess, like, making synthetic food out of food would be stupid, because, you know, it's food. <laughs> Why mess with it, right? Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, this, uh, this AI talk was really interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Does someone want to help? <laughs> Thank you. Yikes. Okay. We did real good. Let's try again. But it was, it was just really interesting to see because, I, I mean, this is a game that I've put like 80 hours into. This is a game series that I've put countless hours into. And I just love going to all the talks that I find about it, whether I understand them or not. That part's always up in the air. <laughs> like, um, this one was definitely, AI is not my strong point. So this one I was kind of like, huh. I don't really know a lot of what you're talking about, but it was cool. Oh my gosh, are you seriously just gonna like play games on the computer? What are you doing? Okay, well let's ask you for a crystal, because apparently we can't do anything else. Because he's lazy and singed and whatnot. Uh, it's crystal, right? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I've already been to a talk by Will Wright himself. You can't help me with crystals? Oh, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Chat with Lorenzo. Hmm. Oh, this is Lorenzo. Oh, Sergio's the one we knew. I was like, what? Okay. About a day. Analyze a metal. Might be able to do that. Wow, he's an alien. You just figured that out now, I guess. Hmm. Very good. Um... But yeah, that's it's definitely really cool to think that, uh, you know, I've met, like, the creator of probably one of my favorite game series overall. I just find that super exciting, ask co-worker for a medal. Um, and yeah, so, 
I'm just gonna keep learning all I can about uh, The Sims 4, and I guess, and maybe even The Sims 5 if it comes to it, because honestly, I would love to work uh, at Max. It's uh, it's one of my one of my dream jobs, definitely. Is this a uh, medal? I think it's a medal. Let's look at it. Now oh, the people across the way are being so loud as they're playing their games and whatnot. Crazy. Gossip about co-workers? Yeah, I guess we can do that. Um... But yeah, definitely if I, uh, if I needed to get a job, like, in the actual industry with a corporation rather than doing stuff on my own, um... Analyze a fruit or flower. I would, uh, I would definitely want to work at Maxis. It's one of my favorite companies, and I think that just what they do is kind of awesome, really. I'll give myself a little bit of extra time. Um, chat with the invention instructor. I mean, yeah, we can do that, because that's just going to be an easy one. Uh, chat with the robot. Okay. Hope we we started this day off terribly. Hopefully it's getting all right. Hey, 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 but what? You're too tense to chat with the robot? Why? <laughs> You're chatting with a robot. It doesn't get any easier than that, I would say. Okay, well we did that. Uh, brainstorm. You know what? Sure, just go make food. You're obviously a useless scientist! You can't even mix a synthetic food serum to save your life! And you took the most inefficient route ever. <laughs> Why'd you go to the fridge all the way over there when there was one right upstairs? <laughs> Paging Peter Ingebreston, there's a problem with the AI! Ah, oh, but it was it was so cool, like everything was like based on geometry. So there's like an area in front of the TV where you can stand when you need to watch it, and obviously you needed to be pointed at it. And but even if you so so like even if you have a couch within this geometric one, they'll still opt to stand if the couch isn't pointing at the TV. It's just like, oh man. This is so cool. And I really wanna learn like how to do all this stuff. But these seem like some of the things where you kind of gotta, you know, work with it to understand. Um, no, we don't really want to go out tonight. We just want to chill. So, yeah, I mean, technically I am trying to apply to EA. That's just... <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool. If I get thrown on Maxis, bonus points. <laughs> what more could you possibly want? Okay, go... Play Blick Block. I don't care if you were previously on fire. Can I get rid of that? Because he's probably not going to be able to stargaze. Get over being on fire, dude. It's not that bad. Oh man, it's like really bad. Like, four. I don't know if there's any way that we can uh, shift his... Uh, shift his mood uh, any, any more than we already are. Married Sophia Bjergsen and Tim Rosa. Ooh. Okay, so Jade and Fiona's child just got married. Morgan Fires and Sharon Rubio, and then Lauren Kiros and Elena Creech. Wasn't she already? No, Elena's the other one of Jade's children. She's not one of ours. That's right. Okay, so I guess we're bypassing aliens today because almost doesn't know how to mix a synthetic food serum. Gosh, how useless! Like, come on, man! Hmm. We're also gonna need to have a gardener sim at some point. Mainly because I need to figure out how to make dragon fruit. It's snapdragon and something. But I can't remember what the something is, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, yep, spooky lights. Actually, Fiona, I'm just gonna have you wake up. Because I want you to kind of going around repairing everything. Did I call you Fiona? You're Malaysia. I'm not really sure what I called you, but you're Malaysia. So if I called you Fiona, I, apo <coughs> I apologize. That's all on me. That's my bad. You are a strong, independent sim. 
You don't need no creator to tell you how to live your life. Except you do a little bit because I still worry about your autonomy. You guys don't seem all that smart. Okay, yep, fix those, fix those. Please don't jump into either of those appliances, Madeline. We kind of want them to stick around as much as possible. Oh, those fine. That one's not. And that one's not. So four more things to fix. You got this. Yeah, flirty in the bathroom while you're fixing the sink. Joke about the plumber coming to clean your pipes or fill your... It's, it's a joke. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, almost. You're going to need to get up soon. Because guess what? You got to go back to work and hopefully not suck at it so much this time. All right? All right. So why don't you go open and have some of those, whatever those were. Unless those were the cookies, then it might not be that good. Got snapdragons, bluebells, oh man, everything's so nice. I should just uh, fill the lab that he works at with lots of decor to give him something. Because that would be really helpful. <laughs> like all the ener energizing decor. Then maybe he will uh, never have that problem of like, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Or these focusing ones, like focusing seven on Rosie the Riveting. That's pretty awesome. It's a rose print. Sweet. But I kind of also want that a little bit. Eh, whatever. Okay, I'm just going to work. Yep, we're going to work. Holla! It's gonna be the best day of my life. That's a song, right? I think that's a song. I just realized, are neither Crystal nor... Malaysia? Pregnant? Hmm. Didn't think about that. Because you'd think they'd be showing by now. They must not be pregnant. Why don't we actually have a try for baby fail? That's only like a 15% chance. Which is pretty good, all things told, but still. I think it would happen. Mix a red hat serum. Oh, I forget. What did you need for that? Basil. Right. Basil. Are you ready? No. We're gonna water all y'all then. Man, you just really don't want us to have basil then, do you? Oh hey, watering our plants was one of the things we needed to do. Are you clay? No. Who's clay? I don't know. Practice your analysis. I feel like that'll be easier to do right now. Are you clay? No, you're Ronan. Who's clay? Hello? Lorenzo? Clay? Clay. He's the blue one. Okay, somehow I'll need to remember blue clay. Not really sure how. Analyze a crystal. Do we have a crystal? Shine a light? Do it. Heard you became good friends with Lorenzo Connor. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess we work with him, so I guess you could say we're kind of tight. But I mean, not all that much. Analyze an element. What's an element? Like, Gublek? That's an element, right? Pretty sure that's an element. It's a square like an element. Everyone knows all elements are square. Okay, good. It, it was. I was like, uh, I guess it's not, and I just wasted my Gublek. Analyze a fruit or flower. I mean, okay. You're making this, like, really difficult just analyzing for days maybe we want to do something else with our lives and you gotta go to the bathroom that's lame a new splicing recipe has been discovered Let's see what plants almost can create what plants can you create oh, bonsai buds daisies and strawberries very nice <laughs> Can you do that just from here? Like if I just click a strawberry? No. So I think you still need to do like the grafting and whatnot. Okay, well, if you're gonna complain, I guess you can go to the bathroom. And then you need to experiment on the chemistry lab. That's not the chemistry lab. This is the chemistry lab. Go experiment. Angela Wells delivered a baby. He thought you could hide that message from me, but I saw it. I saw it. I know what's going on. 
Also, where's Clay? I saw him leave his office. So you'd think he'd be around in ours somewhere. I don't know how you found some metal, but awesome. You certainly did it really well. You want to analyze a metal? Let's go analyze that metal. What do we get? Pyrite? Go analyze it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hello, Clay. We need to gossip about co-workers with you. Okay, stop experimenting and go gossip. Go. What are you doing, you fool? Come on! No! Ugh. Some of the things that these sims do. I just hate it. No, don't analyze your pyrite right now. You're gonna gossip with him and you're gonna like it. Then you can go analyze your pyrite. There we go. 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 Analyze pyrite. Need to ask a co-worker for metal? Oh, and the computer's broken. No, it's not. Thankfully, we don't need to, like, actually worry when we're at the, uh, at the, the, the work thing. The workplace, as some people might call it. Ask for a metal. Hello, come over here. I need metal. One socialite? <laughs> okay, let's go, let's just, let's just go water all the plants. Uh, you know we're gonna stay late. We gotta do that, and then we'll get basil, maybe. Collect a microscopic sample of basil. There we go. Fantastic. And then go analyze your plant sample. I don't know what use does. I guess it just uses it. It's just logic training. But now we're actually doing something, I guess. Okay, chat with the invention robot, too easy, and then brainstorm, I guess we can do that as well. Okay, you're done talking with it. Chill, robot, we don't need you anymore. We're brainstorming, okay? We're brainstorming. Uh, get to know a co-worker. I think they all left, because the workday's over, but that's fine. Just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on moving. I just like, okay, leave work now. Yeah, promoted the junior tanker. Uh, you get a flying saucer lamp and new clothes, and we get a vacation day. That's pretty sweet. Oh man, are we free to do things naked in the workplace? That would be hilarious. Just walk around like, oh, hey Clay. <laughs> What's up, Sergio? Lorenzo. How you doing? They're all just like staring at you. Dude, put your lab coat on at least. Like, no. Nope. Cause I'm free as a bird now. <laughs> okay, no, let's not. Show everyone your club style by saying unique club outfit from the club panel. No. We're in like a reading club and they don't do anything exciting. Oh my gosh, how loud can they get out there? It's like crazy. Um, why don't you go eat a, a flirty heart cookie? Because you don't need all that much hunger. You just need a little bit of hunger. By the way, you and you, why don't you guys go try again in the closet? Like, hey, you want to go uh, diddly the do in the closet? Like, oh yeah, you know it. Uh, a great party. Oh, thanks. Which alien is that? Is that like Karina? Or is that Brandon? It looked like a female to me, but how? What would I? Oh no, it was Karina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what the, uh, you can tinker? I don't know what tinkering on that would do. Eh, who knows, there must be some upgrades you can get to your, uh, telescope when you're at a really high level or something. I'm not super worried about it, though. Did you guys do anything? Like, hello? Go... Just, you know, try again in the closet, just to make sure that you guys are actually doing stuff. I'm not really sure. Get in the closet, okay? Yep. Okay. They're going. They're going. That's two 85% chances in a row. There's no way they messed this one up, right? <laughs> the Stockton family moved into Springscape. The Blakely family, ooh, Brandon moved into Vista Quarry. The Vic family moved into Affluista Mansion. And Eureka, fifth breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a hover lamp. Isn't that what- no, no, you got a flying saucer lamp. I was like, didn't you, like, just get that? 
By the way, almost also, if you just want to get abducted, that'd be pretty swell. Because then we can have alien baby. And that's it. Just get an alien baby, okay? That's all I really want. You almost do another breakthrough? Does that look like it was almost full? I don't know. Oh yeah, you are. A rose perfume serum. Very good. Proud of you. Proud of you. Who's that? Whoa, it skipped forward. Allison Munch. And Catherine Cobb. Okay, well, I'll let you go till 3 a.m. I know in, like, The Sims 2, 3 a.m. was the cutoff for alien activity. So I'm just gonna assume that it's about the same in this one. And now, yeah, why don't you head to bed? That sounds like a swell idea. Uh, Iris just woke up. Awesome. Because <laughs> I needed a sim to play, I guess. Oh, you're eating something already? I was gonna go tell you to eat. Are you undermining my authority, Iris? I won't have this. Just so you know. I mean, it's probably fine, but whatever. Ooh, ghost. Scared by ghost. Oh, no! Oh, okay, stop getting scared by the ghost. <laughs> like, it was just there. It's only Travis. He's not even the frightening one. Jeez, you got scared by him like five times in a row. You want to chill out? Travis, if you'd like to pick up my trash can also. No. So I would have been super psyched. You just decided that that wasn't good enough for you, I guess. Okay, now you're going to get some real food. And... Oh, jeez, almost. Your energy's really low. I thought we normally sent you to bed at 3 a.m. and you woke up fine. Maybe not. Maybe we should have done like 2 a.m. Mm, well, I don't know. I just don't know. Guess you're gonna need to repair that. Repair it. Repair it and make it good. Because you are gonna need to shower. Okay. Oh, wait, it's Saturday. You don't even have work today. So, whatever. Just take a shower. Yeah, get out of the bathroom. I want to take a shower. Gosh, Malaysia. I think that was Malaysia. I'm not really sure anymore. But I want you to go back to bed because I want you to have energy for stargazing. That's the important part. Okay. Why are you angry? You want to use the workout machine? Sure. Go do enraged reps. Yes. That's awesome. You also want to become flirty. I mean, can't have you doing that if you're angry, right? Um. Okay, now you're uncomfortable. <laughs> You're excruciatingly fatigued after just that? Come on, does that mean you're pregnant or something? Are you pregnant? Malaysia? You can tell me, you know. Where are you headed? I don't know where you're going. Why don't you go pick up the trash and then throw that away? And maybe we should be looking out for a significant other for you? I don't know. Is she throwing up? No, she's cleaning. Who's this? Who are you? Diego Valdivia? I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, he's alright. Oh, we can't talk with him, though. Okay. Bye, Diego Valdivia. <gasps> I mean, we just wanted to talk with you, and you won't, you won't let us. Game's just not letting me have any fun, I guess. Jeez. Uh, Malaysia, you're up here doing something. Crystal, I like never even click on you. What are you up to? What are you up to, girl? You just chilling? Yeah. You just chilling. You're not gonna become a comedian, just so you know. You're not gonna be that good at anything, like, ever. <laughs> Probably. You don't even have- you have level zero comedy. Wow, how bad is that? I thought, like, you know, you'd at least have some skill in your aspiration, but I guess not. Whatever. Not, not my problem. Calvin McKee. Oh, who are you? Did we know you at school? Iris, why don't you introduce yourself to Calvin McKee here? Because this is just what we need. More blonde jeans in the family. Perfect. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Malaysia. Guess you're just walking on by then. 
So, oh, your crystal. No, Iris. Oh. Why would you tell him a funny story about that one time you didn't have a boyfriend? And, you know, drop subtle hints in there so he knows. He knows what's going on. Malaysia doing that seamless join interaction right there. Who's this? Gino McKee? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Are these like twins? They might be twins. Also, the pregnant lady in the background there. Hey, what you doing? Who are you? Morgan? Oh, hello, Morgan. Oh, and Jade? Jade's in the background too? Oh man, this just has everyone. What more could you possibly need in a picture than Morgan Fires and Jade Rosa? Okay, well... I guess we can talk with you too, Gino. Oh, he's a bookworm! Well, that's really good. I think he's for you. Maybe not so much Gino. Gino kind of just seems like... Though he would give us different DNA than blonde hair. That'll always be nice, right? I don't know. Oh, who's this? Rashawn Giles? You as well, huh? Man, we just have a plethora if it weren't for that blue bar, that would have been perfect. There's just a plethora of men on this doorstep. Whatever will we do? Okay, why don't you go invite him inside as well? I don't know why you just decided to go take a shower. Uh, and then discuss logic puzzles with uh, Calvin. Because Calvin seems like your type. Who's this? Oh, Heidi. You're here too. You must be here for almost, right? You okay, Heidi? Oh, you're pregnant as well. Are you going into labor? <laughs> Heidi knows not the best time to do that. Amos, why don't you, uh... Oh, you never talked with her, really? Why don't you go talk with her, then? Because she's probably here to see you, if I had to guess. Oh my gosh. Why is everyone coming to our door right now? We don't need this. There are too many sims! Ask Calvin if he's single. Yeah, almost get away. You're gonna be like, you know, romance blocking your sister, and that's a slightly weird thing to do. He is single. Good, because I went straight ahead and asked him a risque question. We can just have you, like, just straight up get on with it. Just compliment his appearance. Yeah. All this stuff. Flirt with him? Oh, he, he did not like that. He did not like that. Okay. We can fix this. We're fine. We're fine. Why don't you just uh, gossip about neighbors like Heidi going into labor on our doorstep? That's a pretty funny thing to gossip about, r gossip about right? Um, chat about property values? You know, adult things. Prove that you're an adult to him and then tell him an insider story. Malaysia's comedy level 3. Why aren't you, Crystal? Oh, it's your birthday, Fiona. Oh, it's your birthday. I guess we kind of have to. Apparently, we only get. Did I, or did I just hit the wrong button? I think I was supposed to sit. Yeah, I think I was supposed to hit choose Sims to join me, but I didn't. So we're just showing up with Malaysia. <laughs> Whoops! That's not what I intended at all. I wanted to bring the whole family and their significant others, but I messed that up. Oh well, is Fiona becoming old now? I feel like this is her olden birthday, so good for her. She's, uh, you know, well on her way to, uh, you know, dying, I guess. Okay, well. Hey, we're here. Is anyone else here? Yeah, who's this? Jamie Adkins? Huh. She's kind of cute. Oh, but I have Malaysia here. Um, Iris. Bring here. There we go. Why don't you go chat with her? You know her already? Oh yeah, you know her already. I don't really know how. There's also a little kid here. Benson. Benson. Whatever. She's already flirty, so you know, she's ready. Just ask her if she's single. Ask her a escape question. Let's just get started right off the bat. You know, who knows what could happen just while you're here. Just at this party like, hey, your caterer was really cute. We totally hooked up. 
That would be hilarious, actually. Um, why don't you compliment her appearance? Why is this an awkward encounter? Just because little kid's here? I mean, that is a little awkward. He's just like, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> Can you guys leave me alone? Oh, she did not like something that we did. I don't know what it was, though. Tell her an insider story. Brighten her day. Um, tell a joke about monkeys. That'll entertain the kid, too. Kids love jokes about monkeys. See, he was clapping for that. He loved it. You know, oh, never mind. He hated something. Jeez, this is a hard crowd. We can't, we can't get anything going right here. Gossip? Aren't you like Benson? Go away. We're not here to talk with you. Tell her an outrageous story. Malaysia, maybe you should stop video gaming. I feel like Fiona's not gonna... <laughs> not gonna... Why isn't this going? Oh, there's only 50 minutes. That's weird. Because I feel like we are uh, not giving her caterer the chance to make the cake. That's fine, right? I discovered that Jamie Adkins is... Oh, she's an alien too? What? Oh, is that how you know her? Heidi delivered two babies. She was very pregnant on our doorstep. Good for her, I guess. Oh, she's also mean. Good. Uh, confess your attraction. Nice. That's exactly what we need. Use a bold pickup line on her. Yes. Then tell her a funny story. You know. Just go back and forth. Get a romance up. Get her, uh, friendship up. Get her romance up. Get her friendship up. That's all you gotta do. Uh, then why don't you embrace her? You know, give her the hug that says, Hey, I think we should be more than friends. Yes, that's the hug right there. And also, who's this in the background? Who are you? Uh, I can't see... Paolo Roca. Okay, apparently the caterer is just like, I don't want to cater anymore. I just want to work out on the machines. Like, that's cool and all, but why? Don't you have a job? Is there no bathroom here? There's gotta be one, right? Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. I was just missing it. I was like, what? Okay, let's go home now. Uh, birthday party's not going. Uh, hello? Hello? Can that end, please? So we can go home? Oh, she grew up. I didn't even realize. Let's get a picture of Fiona. In her oldness. Hey, Fiona. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing because she's old. Yeah, I want you two to go home. Okay? Go home. Go. Because I want almost to be able to stargaze while we finish the episode, okay? Is that too much to ask? You saw your aunt or whatever getting old, so you're fine now. It's all good, that's all you really need to do at a birthday party is watch them get older. Or in my case, like, go to class and... Do I have a midterm? No, I don't have a midterm. Took our midterm last week, that's right. Okay. We're all good. I know how to change the camera settings in the option menu, but I'm already stuck on The Sims 4 controls. Or do I have them set to The Sims 3 controls? Never remember. Okay, T Magic, yeah, gallery, uh huh? Amos, you, stargaze, get on that. <laughs> and put your food down and go get on the alien thing, because that's what's most important. Your sister just met an alien, though, so that's really good. I can now read advanced logic books. Man, that's perfect, that. Totally won't get you abducted by an alien. So if you'd like to do that, Crystal looks like she's kind of pregnant. Or maybe I'm just like the rudest person in the world. That looks pregnant to me. But it didn't give me the notification, so I may just be the rudest person in the world. I'm not totally sure. Okay, but I'm gonna have you stop there and then go to bed. Because it's four in the morning, I don't want your sleep schedule ruined too much. But this seems like a pretty good place to stop it for right now. We're still going on our quest to get aliens into this family. We might have a half alien on some side branch. Marlene Shell delivered a baby. Some side branch of the family tree. But we want it in the actual legacy. Like, the main, uh, 
the main ancestry. That would be really cool. So we're going to keep trying, but so far, no luck. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on The Sims 4, our legacy with the Creech family. Goodbye.